Well, it's not clear what the objective of the Assad regime is in declaring the ceasefire. Syrians are understandably very skeptical, given that this current round of escalation by the Russian Air Force and the Assad regime actually took place to, during what was supposed to have been a ceasefire. So, given that we've seen a repeated pattern where the regime and Moscow declare a ceasefire, only for the Assad regime to consolidate its forces and then to subsequently break that ceasefire. So many of the Syrians on the ground who are still stuck in Idlib are very skeptical. We've seen some reports um, on, from the ground that the ceasefire may take place by later this evening. The question is, what will it be sustainable? Would such a ceasefire hold? Of course, the past couple of uh, the past 48 hours have been especially deadly in this months-long campaign by the Russian Air Force and the Assad regime. Over a thousand have been killed. Over 600,000 have been displaced from their homes. Dozens of children, little children and infants, have been killed in the past 48 hours with their homes pulverized, their homes bombed from the air by the Russian Air Force and by the Assad regime, airstrikes and missile strikes. So there's still a great deal of skepticism on whether or not such a ceasefire would hold and whether or not, if the ceasefire does in fact take place, could it lead to any real lasting peace. The Syrians in Idlib that we've spoken to want an end to the conflict. They want the Russian Air Force and the Assad regime to end the bombardment of their homes. Thousands are right now displaced. They're living under the trees. They've, they're gathered up on the Turkish border and they're looking for a way out.